Yo guys, it's JJ here and today I'm going to be walking you through a Rilo Rodriguez tutorial for his latest album, Bin One. Of course, Rilo Rodriguez himself dropped another album, very dope. And the beat I'm going to be walking you through is inspired by one of the tracks which is featuring Lil Baby. And now before we get into the video, make sure to drop a comment, a like and of course subscribe. We have just passed 1000 subs. I've got myself a nice little kit dropping soon. You know what, speaking of kit, drop the trailer right now. And there we have it that's the kid trailer coming to you guys very soon to keep up with it of course make sure to subscribe check my instagram in the description but now let's just get into the video so first things first we got to have an instance of expand 2 and i'm using a preset called spiccato down which comes from the strings bank of course now to make the main component of this whole sample let me just tell you it's a bit of a tedious process but i'm gonna walk you through it first things first came up with this nice little pattern essentially just a little four bar that repeats over then I just play around with the root notes and take it down into a D and then into a C sharp. But once I've done this, I click Alt Y to flip it horizontally. And then what I do, I'll go into the playlist, I'll get my channel rack, I'll right click it, click quick render as an audio clip. Then once it's been rendered out, as you can see, I drag it back into the playlist, double click it, and then I just reverse it. Then I run that reversed audio into the mixer channel giving it a bit of portal with a preset called meet reveal then another bit of portal called low pressure then i get myself an eq coming off all of those and of course a bit of a hollow vintage rib you know just to give it a bit of ambience a bit of that dark sound and then last but not least i started separating the sound around 31 percent and without further ado this is what the main melody sounds like And there we have it, sounding super dope, super dark, giving you that bin one vibe. Of course, Lil Baby and Rilo do their thing on the track. So really, really good start to the sample. Next thing I do, I get myself an instance of Piano V3 and I use the literal, and I use the home base preset. Then all I do is just follow the root notes, of course, you know, every two bar and then just copying it down the octave below to give it some thickness. And without further ado, this is what the piano sounds like. And there we have it. Piano really reinforcing that dark sound. For effects, all I do is get an EQ coming off almost all the lows, giving it just a bit of room here, then duck in some mid frequencies. And then on top of that, all I do is get myself an instance of a hard vintage verb, just to, you know, add a bit more ambience. And then I use a bass preset from Analog Lab 5 called Omen. Really good, dark, dark sound preset. And as we can see from the pattern, yes, again, I am just following the root notes, keeping it simple, filling in all that lower frequency range, filling in all that lower frequency range and of course this is what the bass sounds like and there we have it right and this is the pattern as we can see it's a nice little climbing pattern kind of like a ladder it builds itself up and then it just repeats and repeats making use of these notes as we can see here which are part of the scale where there is semitone the path giving it that dark kind of vibe and that's all it really is so without further ado this is what it sounds like There we have it sounding super dope and super hard and as for the effects again i got myself an eq cutting off all the unwanted lows a shaper box to add a bit of movement to the bell especially if you have headphones you'll be able to really hear this and then of course the instance of a hollow vintage verb with a fair amount of decay on it and as we can see of course i've separated the melody around 56 percent and now the last sound for the sample we got it from omnisphere and the preset we're using is choir woman as found of course in the human voices bank and from looking at the pattern again all i do is just follow these root notes you know same as the piano same as the main melody but i have a few little sliding ones of course for a bit of transition and of course as we can see here making use of those notes 
like a one semicolon in the part, giving it a very dark aesthetic. And of course, randomize your velocities. And this can be done by clicking Alt R, and then you have it. As for the effect, I docked off a few of the highs, but I've cut off all the lows. Uh, then I got myself an instance of Soothe just to compress a few harsh frequencies. And then to Valhalla Vintage Verb, just to add some ambience and reverb to the sound. And of course, this was around 56% in stereo separation, similar to the bell. And last but not least, I went up to the master track and I added this thing called Sound Shifter Pitch Stereo, took it up a whole semitone, rendered out the whole pattern, and then this took the pattern from an F sharp minor up into a G minor. So without further ado, this is what the sample for Rilo Rodriguez's album, Bin One, sounds like. And there we have it folks, sounding really dark, giving it that baby and Rilo aesthetic. But now let's just get straight into the drums of the beat. So first things first, we've got ourselves a snare pattern and I am using a snare from my kit called Too Good. As we can see, simple pattern which repeats every single four bars we can see. However, we have this one odd note giving it a bit of extra bounce. And all I do is copy and paste it again to create a full eight bar. And now moving on to the hi-hats, I am using again a hi-hat from my kit called the Brazy Hat. One of my favorite hats, I use it as well for a lot of rolls these kind of patterns but i go onto the magnet tool quarter step and then when we look down here you can see i've inserted these nice little rolls played about with the spacing of them of course even down here played with the shift played with the pitch of it of course and then as we can see here i have this nice little interesting pattern because i go back onto the magnet tool switch it to a third beat and as you can see it gives it a very unique bounce which you'll hear in a sec then i go back onto the magnet tool onto like a quarter step finish off these nice little cool rolls copy and paste the whole pattern and that's how i did it in terms of hi-hats this kind of stuff you get better over time of practice really really is just key to the whole process and of course just watching people seeing how they do it understanding when it hits with the correct drums etc but this is what the hi-hats and the snare sound like And there we have it sounding super super dope and there we have it don't put that super dope part that sounds stupid and next up of course we got ourselves the 808 pattern and i am using an 808 from my kit yet again called the r808 it's a very nice distort it's a very nice distorted 808 and as you can see from the pattern it's essentially this one bounce that i've got going but then i copy and paste it again but following the root notes of course of the sample so from the G into the D sharp into a D. And one thing I do for my kicks and my 808s, which I repeat in every video, I click Control A to highlight all the notes and using the scroll wheel and clicking onto it, scroll all the way up and that allows you to max your velocity. The reason I do this for my kick and my 808s, it makes it sound punchier, much crisper in the mix and really, really gives you that like bass that you're looking for. And then of course, I'm using like the rack kick for my kick just following the eight note. And of course, I'm using the rack kick for my kick, following the 808 pattern, but you know, kept at the same root notes, max my velocities out, filling in all those criteria. And now this is what the kick and the 808 sound like. And there we have it. Sounding really, really dope. Seeing the kind of samples instead of using a more distorted 808. But now we've got kind of two additional kind of sounds. And now we've got another two additional sounds to the whole beat before we wrap it up. First things first, we got ourselves an open hat. Comes in every four bar at the beginning, as we can see here, hitting the one and the two. And then we got ourselves a perk from my kit called the Zap Perk. Just have it playing along here. Kind of like one of those like Florida, Detroit beat kind of things you'd hear, but sounds really, really good in this beat. And as we can see from the Mixer channel, I panel it. And then from looking at the Mixer channel, we can see that I've panned some of it right and some of it left for the open hat and the zap perk. And the reason I did this was just to add a bit of variation. So without further ado, this is what the full beat for Vilo's album, Bin One, sounds like. There we 
have it folks but before i wrap the video up let me just walk you through the beat breakdown so looking at the whole beat we start off with a nice little eight bar kicking it off with the essential drums but then you know just have the bass playing alongside the main sample and looking at the chorus we got the basic drums at the beginning alongside some open hats and a sample but then I introduced that nice dark piano and alongside the zaps for the second half, you know, two eight bars, giving it a bit of variation. Then looking at the verse section, I removed that nice main sample that we had and introduced those nice like escalating bell sounds Then introduced the piano, keeping these essential drums. But then for the second part of the verse, I reintroduced the kick and the open hat, giving it that extra oomph. And then finally into the, the, the and then finally into the last eight bar, I like to call this the pre-hook because it's the first section just before the hook. I completely removed a lot of the other sounds, the keys included, but then I reintroduced the bass. I introduced the choir sample that's only used in the bridge, giving it that grand feel. And of course I have my nice little sounds alongside a kick and an open hat I hit at the beginning of every four bar. And of course we got the chorus, another verse section, and then one more chorus. And there we have it guys. That's how I made a beat for Rilo's new album. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, you know, comment down below, all that jazz. And make sure to stay tuned on my Instagram for the new shit. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.